What is going on, YouTube Averse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another episode of the top 100 songs of all time as voted by you guys. And we are in the top 20, folks. Counting down numbers 20 to 16 in this episode. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. At number 20, Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones off of their 1969 masterpiece, Let It Bleed, the opening track, and one of the coolest opening tracks of any album. I mean, just from that guitar arpeggio that comes in and those falsetto vocals, it's just such a cool, mysterious sound. And then when the great Charlie Watts comes in with those drums, man, those pummeling drums and, and the guitar following suit, it is just, uh, it is so heavy. And of course, the weight of the lyrics um, so heavy as well that, you know, of course, you know, the Vietnam War and all this, the crazy things going on in the world surrounding them at the time uh, played a huge role. Mick Jagger's vocals, so impassioned. The female vo vocalist on here uh, also taking it to another level. Just uh, an absolute classic and uh, yeah, so well placed on the list. So now at number 19, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees from the 1977 soundtrack, Saturday Night Fever. I mean, you know, I, I actually love that it's this high on the list. I think this is a classic song that never gets old. Uh, just one of the coolest guitar riffs ever, to be honest with you. And it really shows that the Bee Gees, you know, they had been known to be these great balladeers uh, from the late 60s all the way through the late 70s. But by the time this record came out, and it was such a huge sensation uh, and so popular and has really stood the test of time for a reason, because it's not just teeth out like, mm, yeah, I want to groove along to it music. It is uh, really heavy in a way that uh, I think a lot of people forget, you know? It's just really cool guitar riff, really cool drums and bass groove, and uh, of course, the vocals by the Gibb Brothers, just amazing. Uh, their harmonies and their falsettos, nobody could touch them, and uh, so great to see them this high on the list. So now, at number 18, When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin off of this album right here, Zoso, the uh, self-titled or also known as number four uh, from 1971, the closing track on this record. I'm so glad that this is also so high on the list. I wasn't expecting it to be honest, but uh, just an amazing track that Jimmy Page and Robert Plant kind of reworked this old 1920s blues song by Memphis this mini into this like huge space rock odyssey that uh, is also very blues based. I mean, Plant's harmonica is fantastic on here. Of course, Jimmy Page's guitar solos, but John Bonham is the one that is the true standout on here. That huge echo sound of, of his just, I mean, he, he had such a huge sound anyway on his drums, but the reverberation that they were able to record on this, the production by Jimmy Page himself, uh, it's just one of the greatest closing tracks of any record, and I think one of the greatest blues rock songs of all time. So great so far. Now at number 17. Baba O'Reilly by The Who from 1971's Who's Next. Oh man, talk about opening songs. This is truly one of the greatest opening tracks of any record of all time. Again, another classic rock song that, uh, you know, a lot of people forget how ahead of its time that this song was, the way that they incorporated synthesizers in such a way 
where Pete Townsend just programmed this thing, and that's where the title of the song came, uh, is the, the sequence of the letters. Of, I don't even know exactly the device that he used, but whatever mechanism it was, it came out with this such a cool uh, loop of synthesizers that they built this rock song on top of, and such a huge chorus this anthemic thing of teenage wasteland you know roger daltrey at the top of his game literally everyone in this band just doing their absolute best and then to top it off with that cool ending with keith moon just going nuts on the drums alongside someone playing a fiddle of all things like the song doesn't seem like it would make sense on paper but when you hear it it's just like yes man Da, da, da. I just want to air drum to it. I mean, Keith Moon, like John Bonham, one of the best in the business, uh, just absolutely phenomenal. And now at number 16. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Hey, Jude by the Beatles, the Fab Four strike again, this time with the ballad by Paul McCartney that starts out, you know, just very subtle and smooth and uh, just a beautiful song, especially when you know that he wrote it for John Lennon's son, Julian, when, uh, you know, his parents were going through a divorce and, and Paul just sympathizing with him and uh, he changed the, the name to Jude, but... It's just one of those universal songs that works for anybody. Like, hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. And it seems like it would be oversimplistic, but no, man, it gets you right here every time. And uh, it's another one of these songs that could go on forever, especially when it gets to the end the na 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 part uh, and it does go uh, over seven minutes and uh, Paul McCartney man is just he's a genius and th what he does at the end of this song kind of like the greats that he tried to emulate like Ray Charles when he just goes into those little riffs like the Ju -ju -de -ju -de! it's just so great man and McCartney has the chops vocally to pull it off and of course uh, the Beatles falling in line doing what they do best and uh, just rallying around each other when they write one of the greatest songs ever so guys that is it for this episode man this is just uh, every single one on this is an absolute classic. And uh, where do we go from here? Check out next week and see. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did anything that you voted for make it on this week's episode? I know I sure voted for uh, several of these myself. So, um, guys, let me know too what you think of the list so far and what you think is coming ahead. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.